Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Siri to open up your applications. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the end state and then we'll work backwards and I'll show you guys how to do this on your phones. So let's say you want to access your music. My applications. Okay, here's the contact. And there, I'm in the music app. Now let's say I want to go on Instagram. My applications. Okay, here's the contact. And boom, I'm in Instagram. Now let's say I want to jump on Facebook and see what's going on. Facebook shortcuts. Okay, here's the contact. And there you go, it opens up the Facebook app. So one thing that you probably noticed is that we were using contacts to get to our applications. And the way that works is that the software allows you to use URLs to map and access certain applications. So what you'll need to do in order to get this done is to create a contact. So as you can see, I created a contact that's called My Applications. And I used all my apps under this contact. Now, one thing you could do is create an individual contact for each of your apps, and that's something that I did try and I came across some problems. And let me show you an example of that. IMDB. Okay, here's the contact. So the individual contact I made for IMDB works nicely. So now, let's try to go into YouTube. YouTube. Searching the web for YouTube. So I wanted it to open up the contact named YouTube and instead it did a web search. So let me try to be more specific. Show contact YouTube. Sorry Nabil, I don't see any matches in your contacts. So that's pretty annoying. So that's why I put all my apps under that one contact. So now let's check out the Facebook shortcut contact I created. Facebook shortcuts. Here's the contact information. So this is the contact I made for Facebook. As you can see, I have different functions here. So you can access your profile, notifications, friends. You can go directly to your albums, events, and feed. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much how it works. So I know what you guys are thinking. How useful is this? Now, it's not a game changer, but it can be useful, especially if you're hands-free. For example, if you're driving and you have your headset on, it could be an easier way for you to access certain applications. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post those URLs in the description so you can copy and paste and use this if you choose to and hopefully you'll find it useful and uh, kind of cool and if you have any questions or anything just uh, post it in the comment section